Hi my lovely people! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, a warm welcome to you. I hope you take a second to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell right next to it for all notifications so that you will never miss a video from my channel. Remember, if you don't ring the bell, it doesn't matter if you're subscribed, you will never ever know that my videos are going up because that's just how YouTube has changed its rules and things are right now with YouTube. It doesn't matter if you're a subscriber, they don't care. You have to ring the notification bell. That's how they know you want to see my videos. I also hope you follow me on Instagram, which is where I post all my fragrances when I first buy them. And I post a lot of content on Instagram, a lot of fun content. So I hope you follow me there as well. Well, today I'm here with a super exciting video. I am here with my entire massive Killian collection. I have here 17 Killian fragrances. That's right, 17 Killian fragrances. Many of you guys have asked me many times, what is the fragrance house that I own the most amount of fragrances from? And Hands down, it is the house of Killian. I have counted the fragrances from every house and I seem to have the most number of fragrances from Killian, obviously 17 from the house of Killian. And I'm going to talk about each one of them very briefly so that I can keep this video short. And I'm going to rate them from my least favorite to my most favorite. So I hope you watch until the end of the video to find out what my favorite Killian is. So if you guys want to see my massive 17 fragrance Killian collection and hear my thoughts on it and see how I rate them, just stay tuned. So you guys, I have here 17 Killians. You can't see them there, right down here. It's taking basically the entire width of this this table that I'm filming on, it's that huge. It's huge. It's a big, long line of Killians that I've got right here. Again, 17 fragrances. So I actually have 15 bottles of Killians, full bottles, and then I have two decans that I'm going to also include in the, in the rating. So let me start with my least favorite Killian, you guys. I tell you something, way before I even planned for this video, I knew the worst Killian, the one that I don't like at all. Didn't need to think about it, I didn't need to debate. I knew my least favorite Killian and I knew my favorite Killian right away. It was not hard for me. So remember you guys, this is just purely my opinion, my preference. And you guys out there might like the Killian that I don't like at all the most. You never know. Again, this is why we're individuals, different opinions, different people, different noses. I'm going to start with my least favorite Killian to the point that I actually don't wear this one at all, at all. And it's one of those ones that it's kind of a, a scrubber for me as in I can't stand to have it on my skin for very long. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. So this one is none other than Killian Back to Black. You guys, this one, not a fan, not a fan at all. Oh, something about this fragrance is not for me, you guys. I tell you, it doesn't smell bad. Now, don't get me wrong. It doesn't smell bad. It's actually quite intriguing. It's a very intriguing scent. It's a very different, unique fragrance. I can tell you very frankly that I've never smelled anything like this before. This is quite, quite intriguing. Let me put it that way but it is not for me. I think mainly because it smells to my nose quite masculine and masculine also not in a good way, you know? This is basically a very sweet, syrupy honey tobacco fragrance. And I think it's that syrupy honey with that tobacco that I cannot get on board with, you know? 
the tobacco with the honey, with that syrupiness, is a little too much for me. And it's also super sweet, like toothache kind of sweet, you know? The tobacco isn't unpleasant. It's a beautiful tobacco. It's just the combination of the tobacco and honey, I think, that's getting me. This has also got a, a quite a heavy dose of amber. There's some cherry. Uh, there is uh, some vanilla. And there are definitely some spices, kind of warm spices. And there's a little bit of like nuttiness from the almond that's in here. So you guys, the fragrance composition is quite complex. This is like, like I said, honey, tobacco, fruity notes like cherry, raspberry. There's vanilla, tonka bean, and benzoin. So it's quite a bit of vanilla. And then it's got interesting notes like gingerbread, frankincense, that's olibanum. There's spices like nutmeg, coriander, cardamom. There are florals like chamomile and um, geranium, which are not super florally, you know what I mean? Those are not the most floral florals, if you get what I mean. There's a little bit of saffron in here, there's patchouli. Did I tell you there's labdanum? There is, you know, almond with a little bit of nuttiness. Yeah, it's a very complex fragrance composition, but no matter how complex it is, it is not to me, beautiful. You know, it's not something I would think I want to wear to smell attractive or feel attractive. Not at all. It makes me feel like a man and it doesn't make me feel beautiful. I have worn this probably once and that was it. And yeah, I have not been able to pick it up. After that, it's just not my scent. My husband hates it he cannot stand it it was so bad that he had to walk away walk outside the room when i sprayed this on he doesn't find it attractive for women or men i asked him okay you don't like it on me but do you like it on you it's actually a more masculine scent he's like no it's not masculine per se it's just not smelling good he said it's super sweet so i don't find it super masculine and he has a point like to me it smells masculine because of the tobacco but to him it's very sweet so he finds it to be more feminine leaning still unisex but his problem isn't with whether it's masculine or feminine leaning he just doesn't think it's a very attractive scent and i agree with him I, you know, yeah, I think it leans a little more masculine because of the tobacco, however sweet it is. I still think it's not an attractive scent for men or women. Unfortunately, it is a very complex and very innovative fragrance, but that's about it. This is Killian Back to Black. You know what I did notice? The, the heavier, more winter, fall type ones from Killian turned out to be my least favorite out of all 17 that I have and when I look at it all the summer ones turned out to be my favorite just a spoiler alert so that was number 17 my least favorite now this is number 16 on the list that is my 16th on the on the list this one is Killian Black Phantom now you guys, this is a beloved fragrance. People love this. So I don't want to, you know, get you guys upset. Again, it's not that I don't like it. It's just standing next to the other ones. This is my, like towards my least favorite ones, you know, because again, this is a beautiful fragrance. Guys, we're talking about Killian. So they're all gonna be amazing. So I do like Black Phantom. It's just that it's not my favorite given the other amazing Killians standing next to the other 15 of them. It's not better than them to my nose, that's all. But if you were to put this next to some of the other fragrances, I would probably pick this to be one of my favorites. I can smell the booziness in this fragrance and the nutty notes, you know? It's, it's very nutty, very boozy, very sweet fragrance super super sweet by the way so this fragrance has almost all of the prominent gourmet accords in it this is super sweet it's warm spicy it's got chocolate coffee 
it's very caramelly, it's boozy, it's woody, it's nutty, it's powdery, it's got a little hint of vanilla. So yeah, pretty much all the main gourmet accords are in this fragrance. This is, again, a very super complex fragrance. So you guys, like I said, this is very boozy. There's rum in here, there's dark chocolate, there's coffee, there's caramel. There's literally sugar in this fragrance, which is what makes this too takingly sweet. This is a very sweet fragrance. You can cut it, like cut the sweetness, the, the gourmet thickness of this fragrance. You can cut with a knife almost, you know? That's what it feels like anyway. There's sandalwood in here and there's some heliotrope, which makes this uh, a little bit powdery. Did I say there's almond in here? So it's kind of nutty. So yeah, it is basically quite a thick, um, sweet, boozy, nutty, gourmet, you know? Um, and I love it for fall time especially. But again, is this a fragrance that makes me feel attractive? No. So what I expect from a fragrance pretty much is to make me feel and smell attractive, feel and smell confident, you know? So that's what I'm looking for in a fragrance. So when I ask myself that question, is this a fragrance that makes me feel sexy or attractive or confident or beautiful? Not really, but is it a fragrance that smells amazing and is super complex and it's kind of a masterpiece? Yeah, yeah it is. So it's really one of those things, like I may rate this at number 16 spot, but does it mean it's a bad fragrance? No, it doesn't. It is a super beautiful, one of the most beautiful, dense, and complex gourmets ever. It basically has pretty much all the gourmet accords, like I said, all the main ones anyway. Love it, but it's not my favorite out of the 17 that I have. So this is Killian Black Phantom. Now, so on number 15th spot, I have a fragrance from Killian's Liquors Collection that was released just very recently. This one again, is it a bad fragrance? No, it's just not my top favorite. So yeah, it's on number 15 spot. This one is Killian Apple Brandy. This one, like I said, is a beautiful fragrance, but it's not my favorite Killian. It is not one of my top favorites but this is so beautiful, you guys. I really actually very much like this fragrance, but I just like to smell it on a guy more than myself. One time I remember spraying this on and I kept like going, who's that guy I'm smelling? Especially when it dries down, I feel like it smells a little bit more masculine, like that fresh guy smell, you know, like, when a guy wears a gorgeous, juicy, fresh fragrance that's really awesome. This is, this is amazing on a guy, I would say. And again, it smells good on women too. It's just to me, my nose feels like it's a little bit more masculine, that more fresh, you know, type of fragrance that guys wear. This is a very fruity, woody, sweet, sort of boozy, scent. There are some spices in here. There's vanilla. It's quite an aromatic fragrance. It's really beautiful. Like It's like a burst of juicy freshness, this fragrance. With that juicy fruity freshness, it's also kind of aquatic fresh almost because there's a burst of freshness to this that's not just fruity, you know? Um, and there's a little bit of vanilla. So you guys, this one has really nice uh, fruity notes like I think apple, I think it's green apple, there's pineapple, there's apple brandy and rum in here I think. Or is it brandy and rum? Okay, there's, there's a lot of liquor in here basically, it's very boozy. Um, of course there's some vanilla in here, there are some spices, there's a little bit of musk I believe adding a little bit of that sort of earthy herbally touch which again makes it smell masculine leaning to me. There's some ambroxan in here, which is, I told you, I was smelling a freshness that is different from juicy, fruity freshness. So there's juicy, fruity freshness too, but there's that ambroxan fresh freshness. And then there are woody notes like, I think cedar in here. So yeah, this one is on the number 15 spot. This is Killian Apple Brandy on the Rocks. So on the number 14 spot, 
I have a fragrance from Killian's like less expensive line. I forget the name of that line, but they're the ones that come on those bottles with a ball on top. Yeah, this one is Killian Princess. This is a gorgeous fragrance there again. Don't get me wrong. I know there are a lot of you out there who love this fragrance and it is a beautiful fragrance. Actually, one of my husband's favorites from my entire perfume collection and from Killian. Yeah, this is beautiful, you guys. It's it's beautiful, but it's not super unique to my nose, you know, which is why this is on the number 14 spot, not because it's a bad perfume. This is definitely a very like sweet, vanilla heavy, powdery fragrance. There's a little bit of a green touch in this fragrance. I'll tell you from what. I think it's like green tea or something that's in here that sort of cuts through the the sweetness and the soft gourmet notes in this fragrance which I will get to here in a second so there's like a hint of green yeah it kind of balancing the sweetness it's got some spices it's quite fresh you know and there's a little bit of freshness to it so it opens with like a beautiful lemon burst you know it's like a lemon citrus opening and then in the middle you get that green tea I told you about there's ginger with that gorgeous ginger zing which I love in fragrances there's then jasmine and hideon there's I believe a uh, green apple or something uh, some kind of apple and there's peach with that juicy fruitiness and then in, in the base you get marshmallow and vanilla and benzoin so vanilla and benzoin both smell like vanilla you know benzoin is a resin balsam note that smells sweet like vanilla but it's also kind of balsamic too so yeah i like this fragrance it's just not it doesn't stand out enough for me but i will tell you this is one of my husband's favorite killians from my collection and also from my entire perfume collection it's one of the ones that he actually likes this is Killian I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess that's the long name so this fragrance on number 13 spot kind of surprises me because this is the original but I also bought the extreme a full bottle of the extreme which I absolutely love and it's towards the top of my list here but this one is toward the bottom and I cannot put my finger on why that is so this one is actually I don't have a full bottle of this I only have a decan this is Killian Good Girl Gone Bad I love Good Girl Gone Bad Extreme it's towards the top of my list but this one unfortunately has something in here that bugs me I don't know what it is and I'm not usually so picky Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, something in this fragrance kind of bothers me, but I appreciate its uniqueness, which is weird because I love the way Princess smells, but I put this one, you know, above Princess for the originality, for the uniqueness, and for the fact that this is beloved by a lot of the other people. And it's, you know, very, very unique. Like I said, it's a very unique composition. However, there is something weird in here that I am not loving and that's not in the extreme version for some reason. I kind of have a guess as to what that may be that bothers me and I will get to it here in a second. This one is basically a white yellow floral with a lot of fruitiness in it. It's got a lot of other florals too. It's got amber in it. It's a, got a little bit of green hint. So you guys, this has osmanthus, jasmine, and rose. I think those are the notes that this opens with. And then there is narcissus and tuberose. And then there's amber and cedar. But there's a little green hint in here. There's some kind of green note in this fragrance that mixes badly with the honey-like, apricot-like osmanthus. Now, osmanthus is a yellow floral that is a little bit iffy for me. It can go really, really good, depends on the composition, right? Depending on the composition, osmanthus can be an amazing thing for me, or it can be horrible. Like, osmanthus is one of those florals that smell like apricot and honey kind of mixed. So, if you don't get it right in the composition, osmanthus can be one of those notes that just doesn't smell good to me. And I feel like there's a green note that's quite a little bit like herbally in a, in a way that mixed with the osmanthus, ah, uh, really, I don't, I don't, I can't get on board with. 
So yeah, that's the problem with this, the original, that greenness in the original. So yeah, it doesn't bother me as much. It's come some kind of weird pedigree kind of green. I don't think it's pedigree. It's something else that's like it that's mixing not so well with osmanthus. So that's what I, so it has this sort of squished bug kind of smell. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. Have you ever smelled like this? Like sometimes when a bug gets squished, there's this weird smell. Anyway, I don't know. Some of you are probably thinking I'm crazy. So yeah, that's what I'm not loving so much. The green with the osmanthus in the original, good girl gone bad. Yeah, this is Killian, good girl gone bad, the original on number 13 spot. So number 12 on the list is a super unique, amazing, gorgeous fragrance. Why is it number 12? Because you guys, Killian fragrances are amazing because it has 12 other amazing Killians to compete with. That's the only reason why this one is number 12. So keep this in mind, you guys. I have these 17 Killians, with the exception of Back to Black, in my collection for a reason. I love them. I am keeping them in my collection because they're all amazing. Again, with the exception of Back to Black, we don't get along. But anyway, these are all beautiful, which is why I have them on my collection. And I am going to get a full bottle of this actually very soon. This is quite an intriguing, very beautiful, different type of fragrance. This is Killian Intoxicated. This one, I don't have a full bottle of, I don't know why quite yet, I need to get one. This is beautiful, 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 very intriguing sort of spicy fragrance. It's really spicy in a really good way. There's coffee in here, it's very aromatic. Ugh, it's beautiful. It's basically a through and through spicy fragrance, but again, you guys, don't be thinking that it's spicy like a very overwhelming kind of spicy. It's not, it is it is it is spicy, but in a very, almost sort of fresh way. Yeah, there are fresh spices probably in here. There are warm spices in here, but it's just beautiful. It's very unique. It smells unique. And this is definitely very unisex. Um, it's the same story for a lot of these fragrances. They're very much unisex with the exception of a few. Some, a few lean masculine and few lean feminine but most of them are in the unisex range. So is this one. I would say this is 50-50. So you guys, this basically has gorgeous spices like cardamom, cinnamon, nutmeg with coffee, really. It's a coffee fragrance, basically, but with a lot of spicy freshness, a um, lot of warm spiciness too. But this also obviously has other fragrance notes that they have not revealed. Well blended. You can smell the coffee faintly, but what I smell the most are those gorgeous spices. It's really beautiful, very unique, very much unisex. Men and women can both wear it. So this is on number 12th spot. This is Killian Intoxicated. So number 11 on my list is a beautiful fragrance. Again, love it. Love it, but it's only number 11 because it has competition, tough competition before it. That is all, not because it's a bad fragrance. I love it. I reviewed it before. It's a gorgeous, boozy vanilla. It's a gorgeous, boozy, spicy vanilla. You know the one I'm talking about. This one is Killian Angel's Share. This one, you guys know, is one of my favorite boozy fragrances in my collection of very much a beautiful boozy spicy vanilla ah yeah this is very much unisex as well 50 50 i would say so like i said this has a lot of warm and soft spices it's boozy it's woody it's got vanilla in it so you guys this is a very boozy opening it opens with cognac it and it's gorgeous i love that boozy opening this has beautiful spices like cinnamon in here there is vanilla and tonka bean in this fragrance which makes it very vanilla heavy kind of deep kind of vanilla there are beautiful woody notes like oak and sand wood in here there's praline in here which makes it smell a little bit gourmet you know with the the vanilla and tonka bean especially the booze you can smell like even though it's only in the opening it kind of straight stays through almost to the end uh, to the dry down i like to wear this especially in fall um not one of my quite one of my winter fragrances but fall is my favorite time for this fragrance yeah it is beautiful it's a 
boozy, spicy kind of vanilla fragrance. This one is Killian Angel's Chair. Okay, now we're getting to the first 10, right? 10, the first 10 are like the best. So on number 10 spot, I have the most recent addition to my Killian collection and my perfume collection. This one is Killian Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? So you guys, it's one of those controversial kind of playful names, you know, that fragrance houses use, like effing fabulous type names that Tom Ford likes to use or Rose Prick. It's one of those names that has sort of like a hidden meaning or whatever. Although in French, it doesn't necessarily mean what the fragrance house is trying to imply. Literally, it means, would you like to sleep with me tonight or go to sleep with me tonight? Of course, sleep, nothing else, but it's hinting at something, you know what I mean? But anyway, this fragrance is a gorgeous white yellow floral fragrance. Oh, I just really love it. It smells beautiful. Mm, you guys know I love a good white yellow floral. Yeah, it's got a lot of white florals, yellow florals, tuberose like white florals, you know, woody fragrance. It's got vanilla, other florals like rose. It's a little bit powdery. It's obviously going to be animalic from the white florals. So you guys, this has some of the best white yellow florals. There's tuberose, there's gardenia, there's ylang ylang. And there is Bulgarian Rose, which is one of the most expensive rose notes. There's Sandalwood, that sensual, creamy woodiness, you know. And then there's, of course, there's Cedar too with, for, for more woodiness. And this has a dose of vanilla, which you can smell. The vanilla and the yellow and white florals are what kind of makes this unique. You don't really get a lot of vanilla with yellow and white florals usually. This has quite a bit of vanilla. Yeah, it smells very unique. It's a very vanilla-y white yellow floral, if that makes sense. And it's nothing like what the fragrance house is trying to imply with the name, you know what I mean? If that's what they're trying to imply, it doesn't really make sense to me why this fragrance is named that name, you know? Anyway, yeah, it is a beautiful, unique sort of white yellow floral that I really like. But to my surprise, my husband doesn't care for it that much. I asked him to, by the way, rate all of the Killians and he rated them too. By the way, at the end of this video, I'm going to put towards the end a screen with my rating and my husband's rating, just so you guys can see how two people can perceive fragrances different, you know. This wasn't one of his favorites, um, ironically, because the fragrance house is implying something and definitely not one that he finds very attractive you know what I mean but I think it's beautiful because I am a huge white yellow floral fan adding that vanilla the big dose of vanilla to that white yellow floral it's different you know I don't know it smells amazing to me so this is number 10 Killian voulez-vous coucher avec moi so number nine on my list is a very very intriguing and super unique fragrance composition. It smells very, very different. It's an aldehydic fragrance. It's the only aldehyde fragrance out of all the Killians that I have, which is why this kind of stands out. This one is Killian Woman in Gold. Oh, you guys, I love this one. By the way, I didn't have to spray any of these, but I, I am just so that I get a bigger whiff, you know, for you guys. Oh, I love the aldehyde in here. I know aldehyde is one of those notes, kind of like patchouli, that either you love it or you hate it. You know, that's kind of one of those fragrance notes, but I love the bright, sunny nature, nuances of aldehyde. I love it, you guys. Especially if you use it right in the composition like it is in this. Now this is super beautiful because of that big dose of aldehydes with a massive dose of vanilla and lots of citruses in this fragrance. This has got a lot of rose, a lot of woodiness, there's warm spices in here. It is a quite aromatic fragrance because of the aldehydes mixed with those citruses, you know, it's very aromatic. It's got some warm and fresh spices. So you guys, this has a citrus, bright, fresh 
and sunny opening. There's bergamot and mandarin orange and aldehydes in the opening. So there's that fresh citrus burst with that sunny brightness of the aldehydes. And I love the way the aldehydes smell in this fragrance. Beautiful. So you guys, in the middle, there is rose and geranium. They are a, a pair usually. They complement each other. They kind of go as a set. There's geranium and rose in here. And there's freesia, which is like a green white floral. And there is a big, huge dose of vanilla absolute. And there's vanilla in the base and tonka bean. So it's like a huge dose of vanilla, which I think was a great idea because this is an aldehydic fragrance with a lot of citrus. So it needed to be balanced with something beautiful and soft like vanilla, a soft gourmet like vanilla. Otherwise it would have been too sharp, you know what I mean? And then there is kigala wood. And then there's a little bit of patchouli, which you can almost not smell. Like I don't even smell the, the patchouli, honestly, in here. You can barely smell the patchouli if they, it's even there. I don't smell it. Um, and even the wood note, the woody note, Akigala, you really can't smell it all that much. What you smell the most, actually, that aldehyde, even though it's in the opening, kind of stays through in the composition almost to the very, very dry down. And it stays through, really. I love the huge dose of vanilla with that, with that bright, fresh, sunny opening. It's a very unique fragrance, which is why I really adore this. Again, it's only number nine because it has tough competition. That is all. This is Killian Woman in Gold. And this one on number eight spot is also a summer fragrance to me. This is a very different kind of Killian from the rest of it. This is Killian Moonlight in Heaven in the blue bottle. This one, you guys, is very unique fragrance. Some of the notes are quite unique. Like there's rice in here, for example, and mango. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys, this, I got to tell you, it's so very well blended that you can't quite point out there's mango in here by smelling. Really, there's no way. Yeah, you can smell the fruitiness, but it's almost impossible to say it's mango. And it's almost impossible to say there's rice in here. This is a very kind of sweet, tropically citrusy, aromatic fruity fragrance. This has uh, got some coconut, there's vanilla, there are woody notes, it's a bit powdery like most fragrances actually tend to be. It's a little bit milky, lactonic, you know, and a little bit earthy. So this has a very citrusy, soft, spicy, bright opening. There's like grapefruit and lemon or something in the opening with um, pink pepper, which is a bright um, sort of soft spice note, you know, and then you get that tropical notes in the middle. There's mango and coconut, which is amazing. So which makes this fragrance a beautiful choice for a summer vacation, you know, and there's rice in here too, which is very odd, you guys. I don't even know what rice smells like in a fragrance. Yeah, I can smell what might be rice, but you can't tell it's exactly rice, you know? I'm smelling something. So definitely one of those fragrance compositions that's so well blended. And, and then this has got a huge dose of tonka bean, adding that vanilla touch to it and a slight bit of vetiver, which gives it a little bit of an earthiness. So mostly this fragrance smells like the opening notes, the bright sort of fresh citrusy, soft spicy opening. With the, with the tropicaliness in the middle, like the, the mango and the coconut. So that's what I'm smelling the most, not the rest of the notes so much, you know? So yeah, it is a gorgeous one for like summer, daytime or nighttime, actually. You can use this for like a, like a vacation date night um, on, on your vacation, on your tropical getaway. It's not one of those fragrances that can easily and accurately be described to someone without that someone smelling it themselves you know what i mean it's, it smells beautiful let's just put it that way this is killian moonlight in heaven in number eight spot so number seven on my list is a very popular killian this is probably the killian that most people know the most about why because turns out it's rihanna's signature scent or used to be you guys know which one i'm talking about this one is killian Love Don't Be Shy, the original. Now this one is a very sweet, very toothachingly sweet marshmallow honeysuckle type fragrance. This also has rose like the flanker extreme, 
but this has honeysuckle, which I don't think the extreme has. And this has a huge dose of sugar, so it's quite sweet. So you guys, this is very similar to the composition of its flanker, the extreme. But this one, in addition to like orange blossom, neroli, marshmallow, rose, those like main keynotes this has some different notes this actually has caramel in the base and it has sugar in the base which makes it super sweet this is super sweet and this has i think honeysuckle which the extreme doesn't have but this doesn't have pomegranate like the extreme so this opens with neroli bergamot pink pepper there is rose and orange blossom in here like the extreme but there are more floral notes like honeysuckle, jasmine, and iris too. And then in the base, in addition to that big dose of vanilla and marshmallow like the extreme, this also has caramel and sugar, literally sugar, which makes it super sweet and caramelly, you know, a little bit, not, not overwhelmingly so. Caramelliness is moderated, but mostly sugary sweet, you know? And then this also has a little bit of labdanum, which is a fragrance note that has sort of like leather nuances to it, as you guys know. And there's civet, which is one of those kind of um, like animal smelling notes, you know. It's hard to describe. My husband liked this more than the extreme, but I like the extreme more than this one. This one is Killian Love Don't Be Shy. This one is Killian Love Don't Be Shy Extreme on number seven spot. So this one, you guys, is, is better to me than the original because this one is a little bit more sophisticated and less sweet. This one has um, that heightened rose note that's more rose than, than the original. The original is pretty much straight up like marshmallow honeysuckle type fragrance with a lot of sugar. Whereas this one is a little bit more sophisticated because the rose, there's more rose in here than the original. Original has rose too. But this one smells quite sophisticated, a little bit more grown up, you know. This is very sweet. It's got a lot of citruses. It's got white florals. There's vanilla in here. It's powdery. It's got rose, a lot of rose. It's a little bit musky. It has some like fresh spices. It's, so you guys, just like the original, this composition is very similar to the original with a few differences. Just like the original, this also has neroli, orange blossom, and marshmallow, definitely. The original has them too. So this opens with bergamot and neroli. Neroli is like a, a citrusy white floral, so it goes well with citrus. There's Bulgarian rose and orange blossom in the middle, which are amazing. I love orange blossom, you guys. Another citrus white floral. And there's that big dose of marshmallow with the big dose of vanilla in the base. And there's um, a little bit of musk and pomegranate with a little bit of juicy fruity touch in the base. Yeah, this one is different from the original. To me, there's more rose in here, so it's a little bit more like sophisticated. There's no sugar in this one, whereas the original has straight up sugar, so it's super sweet. This one isn't too takingly sweet to me, which is why I prefer this one, but my husband likes the original more. And this is a fragrance you can wear all year round if you want to. It's more of a transitional fragrance, I would say, going from like summer to colder months. But it is a fragrance, if you want, you can wear all year round. Although height of winter, it might swallow the fragrance up a little bit, the winter weather. But when the weather's not too cold, not too hot, this is a great fragrance for transitional periods. This is Killian Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. So we're down to the top five fragrances, the top five Killians that I love. So I have here in my hand one of my recent additions to my collection. This one is a gorgeous fruity floral fragrance. And this one has a very kind of uh, uh, dangerous name as well. This one is Killian Playing With The Devil. You guys, this fragrance is nothing, again, nothing like the name suggests. You would think playing with the devil, you would imagine like a dark, sort of heavy, thick, sort of winter fall fragrance. This is the opposite of it. This is a beautiful, bright, fruity, floral fragrance for summertime. It smells so divine. Nothing like the devil. I'm telling you, it is a very heavenly fragrance 
which is the opposite of what it suggests. Actually, one of my subbies had a really good good idea, actually. She said that maybe they, they named it Playing with the Devil because of Garden of Eden, like playing with the devil, you know? Garden of Eden is fruity floral, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I don't know. It's definitely, like, it's a weird name, okay? So let me smell this. Um, or they just name these crazy names because they're the opposite of what the fragrance smells like. I don't know. You guys, this is so good. This is such a good, beautiful, fruity fragrance with gorgeous florals. Love it. This is going to be my top summer fragrances. This is super, super fruity. It's a fruity fragrance. It's got woodiness, there are some beautiful spices in here, some citruses, some like fresh spices. Um, there's a freshness about this fragrance. Fruity and other kind of freshness. There's fruity freshness, juicy fruity freshness, and then there's other type of sort of aquatic type freshness to this as well. Very fresh, beautifully refreshing summer scent. You guys, it's stunning. I'm so glad I got this. This is the, some of the most favorite juicy, fruity notes in the opening. My favorite fruity notes. All time favorite fruity notes. This has blackcurrant. Duh, I love blackcurrant. It has the most juicy, fruity burst. You know, in the opening of fragrances, you add blackcurrant to the opening. Mm, so good. There is lychee. Oh, it's so yummy with that blackcurrant in here. There's blood orange, which is one of my favorite citrus notes of, of all time. I love blood orange and I like bitter orange in fragrances in the opening. And then there's a juicy peach in here as well that's adding to the juiciness of this fragrance. I think it's white peach though. I It smells, it doesn't smell quite in your face kind of peach. And then there is rose and jasmine in the middle. And there's pimento and black pepper, which adds like a little bit of that spicy zing, you know? But it's very hard to detect in this composition. That sharpness, the zing of black pepper is not quite, not quite there, really. I mean, it's not that prominent, is what I'm saying. Even pimento. You usually can smell that sharpness, that this little zing of the spiciness, but it's not, it's well blended, you guys. What I smell the most are those juicy, juicy fruity notes with those gorgeous florals, the rose and jasmine. So you guys, this has the most beautiful, like typical base. It has actually a mass of those of vanilla because it has vanilla, benzoin, and tonka bean. Again, I tell this every time. Tonka bean smells like a deeper vanilla. Benzoin smells like a resin that's vanilla, smelling resin. And then there's vanilla, of course, all three of them. And benzoin also has like this balsamic touch to it too. There's patchouli in here, which I don't smell at all. The patchouli is non-existent. You can't even smell it. No, I don't smell the patchouli. No, not even a little bit. And then there is a sandalwood uh, with a little bit of sensual woodiness. Again, not that prominent. The, the fruity notes in this fragrance are so dominant, so like prominent, you know? I'm telling you, yes, the fruity freshness is here, but I'm thinking there's maybe ambroxin in the base that they have not revealed, you know? Because I'm smelling another freshness, almost aquatic, that's not the juicy fruity freshness, you know? But anyway, it's such a beautiful, beautiful, fruity summer fragrance. It's gonna be my top favorites for this summer. When we go on vacation, especially, I'm bringing this with some of the top ones here. So this is number five. This is Killian playing with the devil. So we're getting close. Now we're coming to those top four fragrances, you guys. Now it's getting tough, getting tough. I gotta tell you, it was really tough putting these fragrances in the order of my preference because I love them all so much. So the next one is my favorite bottle of all my Killians because of the color because red is my favorite color. You guys guessed it. This one is Killian Rolling in Love, number four in my list this one you guys is a gorgeous nutty white floral almondy white floral you know it's almond and white floral pretty much it's beautiful the almond in here is so yummy 
with that white floral like smells almost edible it's got florals you know white florals it's got vanilla it's got almonds with the nuttiness it's powdery it's musky so you guys this opens with a big big dose of almond milk which smells nutty and milky at the same time so have you guys ever smelled um freshly squeezed almond milk or freshly ground almond milk i don't know you know how you like do the almond milk at home that smell is here mixed in with that big dose of white florals you guys that's what you smell in here it's, there's a milkiness to this fragrance from that almond milk and then there's amberette in the opening so almond milk and amberette amberette is musk mellow and there is freezer and iris in the middle iris is a powdery blue purple floral note so it adds that powderiness freesia is kind of like a greenish white floral you know and then in the base you get that tuberose which is like the most dominant white floral in here so that almond milk and tuberose are the two notes that you smell the most in this fragrance and then there is a massive dose of vanilla with tonka bean so double dose of vanilla basically because tonka bean smells like a deeper vanilla and there's a heavy dose of musk in here as well so yeah i would actually say almond milk white floral and musk uh, and the powderiness you smell quite a bit in here it's a very milky nutty white floral fragrance it is something that you can wear um, in cold weather and warm weather if you want to but it's more i think more leans more to colder weather because of the almond milk in here you know it is something that i like to wear in the transition times because it's not really for hot weather it's not really for super cold weather because the the super coldness would eat it up a little bit this is more for like transitional time so when weather goes from you know like winter to spring or weather goes from summer to fall that kind of fragrance you know this is Killian rolling in love on number fourth spot so we're down to the top three you guys how exciting is this let me grab a, a blotter card oh my goodness can you guess what number three is this one is one of my favorite summer scents now the top three are straight up summer scents you guys this one is one of my super favorite summer scents beautiful juicy fresh fragrance this one is a one of those hot girl summer fragrances you know what i mean you probably guessed it this is killian liaison dangerous you guys this fragrance oh love it Mm, I can smell all of this right out of this um, atomizer, but I'm spraying it anyway for a bigger whiff. Oh, I love this fragrance mm, so much. This one is another very juicy, fruity burst of a fragrance, you guys. It's very, very juicy and fruity. It's sweet. It's got a lot of rose. It's, it's kind of woody. It's really fresh from that fruity burst, you know. It's a little bit powdery it's a little musky it's got like maybe some fresh spices too but only fresh spices because other kind of spices won't go with it so you guys this opens with some of the most juicy fruity notes ever there's blackcurrant which is a beautiful burst of fruity freshness there's plum which is another super juicy fruit there's peach which is also another juicy fruit and coconut which makes it very summery very summery and then in the middle there's rose and geranium which go together there's amberette there's a little bit of cinnamon which is very very faint but i also smell some soft spices in here could be like um i don't know it could be pink pepper that they haven't revealed i feel like maybe there's pink pepper in the opening of this fragrance with that fruity juicy burst that adding like that soft spicy brightness so in the base you get some woody notes like sandalwood which is sensual and some other woody notes there's a big dose of musk there's vanilla in the base there's oak moss which adds a little bit of like and vetiver which add a little bit of like earthy hints you know to this fragrance and a little bit of earth herbliness but it's very faint what you smell the most are those gorgeous like rose you know the florals and the juicy fruits are very beautiful it's some of the it's one of the most attractive hot girl smelling summer fragrances you guys this is number three Killian Liaison Dangerous 
So number two, what's my second favorite out of the entire massive 17 Killian fragrance collection, you guys. This one is Killian Good Girl Gone Bad Extreme. You guys know I'm not a fan of the original, um, but I love the extreme, you guys. This one doesn't have that squished bug smell. This one doesn't have that weird green note with the osmanthus that produces that weird squished bug smell I, I, that's the only way i can put it i really don't know how to describe it but this one doesn't have that this one has osmanthus but the beautiful side of osmanthus not mixed with some green weird note you know you guys this doesn't bother me as much as the original this is also a white yellow floral just like the original it has osmanthus which again beautiful in this one it's you know got a little bit of amber it's a little animalic from the white florals so it opens with osmanthus jasmine and rose demai which is one of the best roses, rose notes ever. In the middle, you guys, you have a tuba rose and milk with narcissus. I feel like maybe that milk is what's kind of moderating whatever that note it is in the original that's kind of super sharp green mixed with osmanthus that produces that weird smell. I think there might be still green in here, but it's not the same green note if there's a green note in here. Even if there was the same green note, somehow I think that milk sort of moderates it, you guys. This one also has tuberose, like I said, like beautiful in here. I love the white yellow florals in here. And then this has a, a good dose of amber and cedar in the base. Yeah, this one smells the way I expected the original to smell. Original has a very sharp green note that doesn't mix quite well with the osmanthus in my opinion, but anyhow, I don't know. This one smells much better. This one is Killian Good Go Gone Bad Extreme. Now to the number one Killian. That is my favorite in the entire collection. This is super stunning, gorgeous, and I know this is the favorite of a lot of you guys because you guys are the ones that suggested this fragrance to me that I get my hands on this and thank you to all of you that I love this so much. It was hard to get a hold of, by the way. This one is Killian Forbidden Games. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love it. Love this fragrance. Oh, so good. Oh, this is gonna be my top summer fragrance. I tell you, top summer fragrance. This is a very fruity, sweet fragrance. Again, another, yet another gorgeous fruity fragrance. You guys, I talked about what, four or five fruity fragrances here, but they're all very different. They each very uniquely different. That's the thing I love about Killian, how they can take a fruity, fresh fragrance and make it smell sexy. Really, so sexy, you know, like they just know how to do fragrances, you guys. And then this has also rose and honey. I think that's what adds to this kind of bewitching nature of this fragrance, that sort of captivating allure of this fragrance. You know, those juicy fruity notes that are, you know, with sweet notes. And then that gorgeous rose and the syrupy honey. But the honey, I gotta say, it doesn't smell quite strongly like honey you know it has the honey nuances it's got a huge dose of vanilla there's something quite fresh about it as well slightly powdery again this has a juicy fruity opening with that juicy plum and peach and there's green apple i think in the opening and there's a little bit of hint of cinnamon and in that gorgeous spicy touch to the fruits. There's Bulgarian rose and bourbon geranium or something. Again, rose and geranium really go well together, but Bulgarian rose is superior. There's jasmine, you guys, as well. And then in the base, you get a nice dose of syrupy honey with the vanilla. And then there's opopanox, which is a balsam note that's super sweet. It's kind of spicy as well, you know? Oh, I love, I think the Popanox is really good in this um, base with the honey and vanilla, you know, adds that gorgeousness to it. Oh, that balsam goodness to it, you know what I mean? Oh, I love this fragrance. This is going to be my top number one summer fragrance come this summer. My favorite Killian, gorgeous, mwah, baby, love it. This is Killian Forbidden Games. 
So that's it you guys, those are 17 Killian fragrances rated by me for you guys and reviewed so you guys can sort of decide what Killian you love the most. If you are wondering about buying certain Killians, I hope this video is very helpful. Please chime down in the, in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Speak people, tell me, talk to me. What do you think about these Killians? Do you have them? Do you wanna buy some of them? Talk to me, let me know down in the comment section. I wanna hear from my gals, but also my guys. You guys talk to me, you guys hardly ever talk. I wanna hear from you as well. A lot of these are unisex fragrances, okay? So talk to me, let me know your thoughts. I hope you found this video very entertaining and helpful and you like it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring that notification bell for all notifications, not just some. And follow me on Instagram, you guys. Please also, you guys, go on over to my beauty channel that's brand new, Clio Beauty. I upload every Tuesdays and maybe Fridays on that channel, not all Fridays because I gotta manage two channels, you know. I am focusing this channel on fragrance content and lifestyle, that one, beauty and makeup. Check it out, show some support. I will see you guys in my next video.